bikepacking, touring, adventure cycling, whatever you want to call it, chances are if you followed my YouTube channel or Instagram account for a while, you'll know that every year I dabble a bit in the two-wheeled world. What you might not know is as much as I love hiking and backpacking, cycling has been my one true love and a huge part of my life as far back as I can remember. It was riding a bike that changed my life by inspiring me to lose over a hundred pounds. It was riding that started my addiction to endurance sports and led me to race triathlon for eight years. But like any bike geek, I have to completely change In 2016, rate. fresh off the AT, I decided to turn my YouTube channel into an all bikepacking channel and even went out to attempt a through ride of the Arizona Trail. Those videos never really took hold and folks seemed to not really be that interested. Really love this shoe. Um... In 2018, fresh off the PCT, I did a bike tour of the Blue Ridge Parkway with my wife and again, folks seemed to not have much of an interest. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so even though I do multiple bike trips every year, I tend not to film them or share much about them on the channel. But you know what? I've made something like 350 videos about hiking, and the whole point of this channel was to share all of the things that I love with others to hopefully inspire them to get outside, get out of their comfort zone, and experience new things. So it's finally time, time to switch it up a little bit and introduce you guys to more bikepacking content here on the channel. Plus, for all you gear geeks, it's basically all the same backpacking gear, just strapped to a bike. So without further ado, here's some footage to hopefully inspire you from my recent ride of the Sky Island Odyssey. are about 18 miles into the Sky Island Odyssey. Uh, drove down here this morning, got to Patagonia, and took off at about, what, one o'clock? At, I think like 30 something miles, we have a gas station. And I think we're gonna stock up on some water and then ride a little bit further and camp for the night. So far, the route has been mainly on Old Forest service roads. And then we just started getting on some like really really old forest service roads that are pretty gnarly, pretty spicy, rocky and sandy and good times. Kind of chilly this morning, but it's warming up quick now that the sun's out. We're gonna try to put in a pretty beefy day today, and then I think where we're gonna end up today is gonna be our last water for a while. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Made it to the end of day two. Uh, we ended up doing what we do like 60 miles, close to 60, maybe. 
Um, stopped at this little water reservoir. Well, the water's not really there anymore, but luckily there's a spigot and we got some water before uh, riding a little bit further and making camp. Beautiful full moon in the background. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. I'm ready to eat and get some sleep. Just stopped here in a little town to do our last resupply at an actual grocery store. Got a lot of horrible, greasy, nasty, high calorie food. And um, back into the desert we go. So I haven't seen the fellas in a while. Um, I stopped a handful of times, took a couple breaks, took about a 30 minute lunch break um, to try to get them to catch up with me, but I don't know if they took another reroute to get down here or what. Um, we will see. Kind of noisy down here in the center section and uh, definitely windy. So we'll see if they show up. I'm probably gonna head inside here and get myself a nice, cold, refreshing drink and wait for the boys to catch up. And that's it. I think that we have like a 10, maybe 10 mile ride, 10, 13 mile ride back down into Patagonia. That's it, the end. <laughs>